Well, of course, victory in the opening fixture was absolutely ideal, and their path to the next round already looks navigable. By no means is there any guarantee of progress, but they have given themselves the best possible chance to go through. Past records state that a win on the opening day gives you an 85% chance or thereabouts of doing just that. So they have every reason for optimism. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. We stand for the national anthem of Switzerland. got the juices flowing and now this Italy have taken three points from three so far. Six from six should do it. Good atmosphere. Well, Peter, the opener couldn't have gone much better result-wise. And that momentum and belief has to be taken into this. And along with the verve and vigour they showed first time round, I think uh, a repeat ought to do the trick here. They'll be backing themselves with a quiet confidence, I'm sure. So it's away we go then. Chiellini. Bonucci. Hoists it forward. And it's Immobile. That's great strength. It's Immobile! That's unlucky. Just couldn't come down. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. And it's Mbolo. Granit Xhaka. Ricardo Rodriguez. Cher. Insigne did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Gets wrestled off the ball. It's a loose ball. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Seferovic, ball sw header! Goal, Switzerland! Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Switzerland have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? That's the way you go about things if you want to qualify. It's superb. Italy suffering an early setback, looking to reel it back in. Well, the task is obviously a lot tougher, and they can't afford to waste time feeling sorry for themselves. 
the correct response is greater focus and work rate now, and especially, especially avoiding another goal. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. All the way back, and they start again. Spinazzola. Italy are behind here, despite their domination of possession. going into that little black book. for the curler Chiellini. Drives it towards the front. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Switzerland seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Granit Xhaka. Shakiri. Seferovic. Seferovic. Empolo. Can he dig out a shot? Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Italy really could have done without this. Well, they can protest all they want, but a shake of the head is all they're going to get. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. To further improve their position of comfort. A cool head was needed there, and we got anything but. Ferrari knocks it away. Has a hit! It's anyone's ball. Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and, and just get something in the way. Now it's Immobile. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. He's pinged one through here. Well, he's managed to get himself offside. forward and back to base Granit Xhaka and that is going to be the final action of the first half and there we are, off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal it is very, very tight
not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. start the second half. Italy need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory but no joy. Spinazzola. Plays it out to the wing. Marco Verratti. Is there any support? And the shot! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. That's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes work ultra sharp. And it's Ferrati. Plays it back. It's a fabulous position. Aimed in towards the centre. Italy showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Hits one! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Science, is it? You know, when you're defending, you react to the danger, but of course, you must spot it in the first place, and they didn't. You know, they're not really looking up to pick the runners, and it was a cheap goal to give away. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Switzerland grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. Just wouldn't stay down for him. The moans and groans are predictable. He felt compelled to try. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. 
Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Immobile with a delicate ball. Turns and goes back. Italy get it back again. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Look at the goal! In the and to the possibilities there, great stuff. Now look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was, absolutely top-notch. We have got ourselves a game here. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. He's had that put on a plate. Shot a goal! So close to drawing level. That had a lot resting on it, you know, Peter, and he's visibly cross with himself. Jorginho travels from the goal kick. Immobile. Immobile gets it out to the wing. from there, so much to aim at. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. <laughs> Switzerland are making a change now. We have ourselves a real game here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Goes for goal! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Immobile, who got amongst the goals, he's being taken off now. Well, has he done enough since his goal? Is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another? It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race is certainly run now. 
Bernardeschi. Shakiri gets it back. And it's played forward. Dora Roma will lay claim to that. Jorginho. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Battles to win it back. It's come loose. Looking to get... So nearly the total turnaround, they simply ran out of time, it has ended all square. A game chock full of moments and talking points, it could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. Your final thoughts, Jim? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card, so overall I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got.